this video, I'm gonna show you how to wire the Shelly Plus One in either a standard single pole light switch configuration or in some of the more common three and four way light switch configurations. First, let's take a second to understand the wiring terminals on the Shelly Plus One. Starting on the right side, you'll see the input voltage terminals for use with 110 to 240 volts AC or 24 to 48 volts DC. Next to that is an optional terminal for powering the Shelly Plus One with a regulated 12 volt power supply. After that is a switch terminal for wiring a physical switch to control the Shelly's internal relay. Then on the far left, you've got your relay input and your relay output. Shelly Plus One features a dry contact, meaning that the supply voltage is isolated from the relay voltage, allowing you to switch low voltage with high voltage or vice versa, with up to 16 amps capacity for AC current or 10 amps capacity for DC current. Let's start with the most common wiring configuration in the US, which will be a single pole 120 volt AC switch. As with all electrical work, your first step should be to shut off power at the breaker and ensure no voltage in the circuit with a non-contact voltage tester. For this configuration, you'll split the incoming 120 volt hot wire between the L terminal, the I terminal, and the hot leg of your standard wall switch. The output leg of your standard wall switch will connect to the SW terminal on the Shelly, and your load will connect to the O terminal. Last, connect a neutral wire from your bundle to the N terminal on the Shelly Plus One to complete your wiring. In this configuration, toggling your wall switch to the on position will energize the SW terminal to trigger a switch event. In the Shelly web interface, you'll be able to select your desired behavior of that switch. If you want the light state to change anytime the switch is toggled, then you would select flip. But if you want the light state to match the switch state, you would then select follow. When using follow mode, you can still turn the lights on and off remotely or with the switch, but you may need to flip the switch twice since the light state will always try to sync with the switch state. To use the Shelly Plus One in a three-way configuration, you first need to identify the type of three-way wiring that you're working with. And those are divided up into two categories, wiring where the supply and load wires are in the same box and wiring where the supply and load wires are in separate boxes. In all configurations, your Shelly Plus One will be installed into the box that contains the load wires. Unlike a standard light switch that toggles a single circuit on or off, Depending on the position of the switch, a three-way switch toggles between completing circuit A or circuit B. In order to install a Shelly Plus One in a configuration with the supply and load in separate locations, you'll need to have a second hot wire of the same phase in the electrical box where the power goes out to the light. To test if two wires are on the same phase, place a multimeter between the active traveler wire and the extra hot wire in the box. If the resulting voltage is zero, then the wires are on the same phase. If the resulting voltage is 240 volts, then they are on different phases and the Shelly Plus One is not the correct device for that application. If the wires are on the same phase, then all you'll need to do is hook up the output of the three-way switch to the SW terminal on the Shelly Plus One and use the extra hot wire to provide power to the Shelly Plus One via the L terminal and also provide power to the lights via the I terminal. Attach the load to the O terminal and finally connect the neutral wire from your neutral bundle to the N terminal on your Shelly Plus One. In this setup, you'll want to select flip as the switch type, since you'll want the lights to change their state anytime the switch is toggled. The second configuration you might find is when both the supply and load wires are in the same electrical box. In this situation, you'll power the Shelly Plus One by connecting the supply wire to the L terminal and the I terminal, then connect the output of your three-way switch circuit to the SW terminal of the Shelly Plus One and connect the load to the O terminal. Last, connect the neutral wire from your bundle to the end terminal of the Shelly Plus One to complete your installation. And in this setup, you'll also select flip as the switch type. One last setup that you might encounter is called a four, five, or even six-way light. In these instances, you'll install the Shelly Plus One exactly as you would with a three-way switch. First, determine which box contains the load wires and whether or not there's also a supply wire in the same box. Then just install your Shelly according to the previous instructions. I hope this video has answered all your questions regarding using the Shelly Plus One as a light switch in North America. If you have additional questions, please consult the official Shelly documentation, ask a question via the Shelly Support Facebook group, or message Shelly directly using the Contact Us feature on Shelly.cloud.